What is good, people of YouTube? This is your boy Vince on the Astronomical Show. Today is episode two, and today we've got a, a different guest today. Uh, last week, of course, we had the awesome Tolu. This week, we've got a good friend of mine that I met uh, through work this year, my golfing partner, my best friend, Braden, and of course, hockey, NHL hockey expert, Braden Rankin. Braden, welcome to the show, bro. Hello, guys. Thank you for having me. What's good, man? How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good, man. So, man, NHL season finally uh, tipped off yesterday. Yeah. How did you? Uh, how how did you uh, enjoy yesterday? Because I was at clearly I was at work. Yeah, yeah. I I watched the uh, obviously the Chicago Pittsburgh game. That was. I didn't think Chicago would win, but they came back, so that was kind of fun. And then Vegas and Seattle wasn't was. Wasn't very interesting. So, wasn't there an own goal in that game? Yeah, there was. I think he, the defenseman, skated around, skated around the net, and kind of just, or I don't even think it was the defenseman. It was like a forward, but just put it in their own net. So, yeah, man, fuck. Um, so that Connor Bedard guy, dude. I mean, you know, I, I'm I, like I said, guys, the viewers out there. I'm not the hockey expert. He's the hockey expert. That's why I hired him on this show. He knows his stuff. <laughs> um, so of course. I don't really know. I I just know some of the big stars. We we got of course we got Connor McDavid and we got Nathan McKinnon. Where would you put, you know, the potential for Connor Bedard? Do you think he fits in the middle? Do you think he can be better than McKinnon? Do you think he can be better than McDavid? What do you think? Uh I think obviously being better than McDavid is quite quite hard. I think he has potential, but I I don't know about that level that's just such a high level to get to but i think definitely mckinnon he could probably beat out and then yeah i don't know about i don't know about mcdavid that's just a uh, i think there's certain parts of his game that are better than mcdavid so like example like his shot but like mcdavid's speed is just way up there obviously he's not going to get there but yeah i think Yeah, dude. So, um, another fun, a little bit of a funny thing, just to just to break the ice here. Um, I don't know uh, if anyone else watched pregame, but I I, I only saw it during uh, Twitter. But um, the entire uh, hockey stadium for Pittsburgh was was chanting "Fire Canada." Now oh, I, I know that. that there are some people that are confused on that because there are Canadians <laughs> on both the Pittsburgh team and both the Blackhawks team. Uh, so what I'm going to tell you right now, guys, is when they were saying fire Canada, they were not talking about any NHL players. <laughs> um, they were indeed talking about offensive quarter, Matt Canada for the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, on the football side there. That guy is a terrible offensive coordinator. The whole stadium in Pittsburgh is also cheering for that guy to get fired. I mean, a hockey game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that That's how bad it is. You know, that, that shit is bad. Oh, yeah. By the way, I forgot. This is my first, that's my first swear here. Uh, I just got to let you know, Braden, because I know and it, it took Tolu a while to to realize, but you are allowed to swear on this show. Don't worry. You could you could let loose the, the F-bombs, all that stuff. You know, go, go, go. Try it out right now. Come on. No, I'm okay. I'm fucking with you. Okay. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, I, I think I think that that's absolutely crazy. I mean, I've been watching the Pittsburgh Steelers pretty much all my life, and it has never been this bad. Uh, growing up, uh, my dad was a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so I, I kind of had to endure watching that shit. But uh, yeah, you know, it, it was fun at the time, of course, when they had Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown before the CTE kicked in, Le'Veon Bell, all that stuff. So that was like the peak fun years. Now, now motherfuckers can't even score a touch. Like it takes them to, to the third or fourth quarter to score a touchdown, and that's fucking insane. Like, yeah, <laughs> God, man. But yeah, so. Yeah, no, sorry, I, I sorry, I had to shed light in there, but yeah, sorry, what? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're, you go first. I heard the chants during the game, I didn't understand what they were saying, and then after, on like TikTok, I think it was, I, mm -hmm. I heard, and I was like, oh. Yeah, that, that's got to, I mean, feel bad for the guy, I'm not going to lie, I mean, to be hated that much, I mean, there was um another thing of some Pittsburgh fan hired uh 
there was this guy from Breaking Bad. And he's like, this is like one of the main characters. And basically this dude, I, I'm pretty sure that guy costs like $500. So someone actually paid the guy from Breaking Bad $500 um, to, uh, to, to basically say that, get get your ass out of pittsburgh so i was just like damn that's uh it's a pretty uh passionate fan there that wasted 500 dollars <laughs> on a cameo for that but yeah you know, it's his and money whatever there's yeah, all the man. videos of like when they got the touchdown now and all the other whatever coaches are all celebrating and he's just sitting there looks like yeah it, it, i'm not gonna lie oh yeah so that, angry. Uh, that actually brings me to a good point there so um in the post game interview, Kenny Pickett, the quarterback, was talking about checking from a zero, meaning that a zero is for those viewers who don't know. A zero basically means that they're sending the house, they're bringing everyone, they're sending the linebackers and everyone's man on man, uh, in coverage. So he 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 basically he said checked out of zero, meaning that Pickett knew that the play that was originally called was bullshit, but it was not going to fucking work. So he said, "I'm going to check from zero. And I think the thing they had was Randy. Which is pretty interesting uh, because uh, I'm pretty sure everyone thought that Randy was basically for Randy Moss. And of course, Randy Moss was one of the best, I mean, at at uh, one-on-one balls. So that's when he threw it to Pickett, uh, Pickens, and then that was a touchdown. So uh, pretty smart by uh, uh, Kenny uh, with his knowledge there to check out of that. But yeah, yeah, it's a bad look there if uh, everyone's celebrating and you're not. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'll see what yeah. happens with you, Mad Canada, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so yeah, so that 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 those uh, the Pittsburgh game was all right. I can't believe they blew that. Um, it's wasn't two there, nothing was it, too. Wasn't there a third? Oh yeah, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay too. Tampa Bay beat uh, Nashville. Was it? I think I don't even know that yeah. game was going on until I saw it in the staff room yesterday. But yeah, I I didn't even know. I came home from school, turned the TV on. Yeah. I watched a few minutes and I had a nap, so Feel you didn't, didn't didn't see much of it. <laughs> All right, so uh, shit. Of course, uh, he may be wearing a Seattle crack. Oh, that is a Seattle Kraken hat, right? It is. Okay, I just like um, the hat. Yeah, he's not a Seattle Kraken fan, folks. He's <laughs> actually a Vancouver Canucks fan. Um, so tell me, man, what are your expectations for your Vancouver Canucks? Because you know what, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, obviously being young and stuff, I used to watch the Canucks as a kid too. And I didn't really know too much about it. I just know about the riot and all that stuff. So <laughs> yeah, well, as, as a, as a you're, you're probably an actual lifelong Canucks fan. So how, uh, how is it being a Canucks fan? And what are your expectations this season, man? Uh, obviously it's not great, but I, I had hope last year. Not not like winning the cup, but like playoffs or something. They kind of screwed that screwed that up. And then this year, I th- I think they're better than last year. They've added a few depth players, I'd say. Uh so I th- I think they could be good this year. Not obviously not like it's probably gonna be Edmonton first in the Western Conference, and then, like, Vegas. Vegas or Edmonton, probably one and two. Uh, so, so I don't think they'll be that level, but I think they can be maybe, like, a wild card team. So I'm hoping that's where they get to. Obviously, today, starting with Edmonton, that kind of – or Wednesday. I don't know when this is coming out, but – Yeah, you're right. It's um, tonight at uh, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, that's a tough team to start against, but I don't know. I th- I think they, I think they could maybe squeeze into a playoff spot. I hope so. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you think about tonight? Then I mean, obviously, I mean, you, I'm I'm pretty sure you knew that there was a game calling up. I just uh, had to uh, stat correct you though that it was tonight at seven p.m. <laughs> what do you What do you think about uh, the chances of? I mean, obviously, it's the first game. Uh, well, they. I don't know. I th- I think it's their home opener. They should have more energy. I'm I, I'm guessing, but it's Edmonton. So McDavid, Drysaddle, you just never know. They played. They played Edmonton preseason too, and it was like five two or something. So. I think it's possible, but in that game, they 
Edmonton sat out a few players, so I don't know. I th- I think it could. I think it'll be close. I don't think it's going to be a blow either way. So I think it should be a good game. Yeah, I've uh, like like I told you today, uh, thing. I probably I made it. I made. I'm. I haven't actually fully committed to the slip yet, but uh, if anyone wants to play today, guys, I have got uh, a Braden Rankin approved slip, and that's going to be on the screen sometime later. I'm going to do with the power of Vince editing. Um, so yeah, guys, we've got I got Connor Bedard over three point five shots against Boston. Uh, I know it's pretty. I know that one might be a little bit risky, but Bedard being aggressive against the Penguins, I I think I'm going to take it against Boston yeah. too. I think you got um, like six yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I think it's five or six. Um, yeah, we got Connor McDavid. I, I see. Here's the thing. I did stat muse, and he normally goes over against Vancouver, but I don't know as of recent because stat muse basically blocks anything recent of the twenty of the twenty twenty two season, which is stupid, and I can't really tell how many shots on goal he usually gets there. But, um. I would hope that he goes over four. So I've got Connor McDavid over four, but you could also probably do maybe over uh, 0.5 goals. So I think he scores a goal as well too. Um, what else do I got? I have, uh, I think, uh, Lekkanen under two shots in Colorado. Uh, Colorado is playing the Kings tonight. And statistically, I think Lekkanen doesn't shoot that much against uh, the Kings. And the Kings are pretty, uh, they're, they're a pretty solid team, eh? Yeah, I think they were good last year. I think they had like a hundred and four points or something. So they they kind of surprised me last year. And I think this year they'll be they added some they added some players. I think they'll be good again. So And then lastly we got we got two of your Vancouver boys. Uh I'm gonna have to go under on on uh, Elias there. I don't really know if that's uh if that's the move, but I mean I don't yeah, know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going under for assists there. Um and then for Brock his name is Brock Bosner, right? Besser. Not, what? Besser. What? What the <laughs> fuck? I've been saying Bosner the whole time. Oh, no. God damn. Okay. Well, I've got him over 2.5 shots now that I don't want to pronounce his name. I, I'm honestly, I don't even think I'm going to even remember that. So I'm just going to call him Bosner. Um, <laughs> the, um, I think yeah. that one will be close too. Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah. I don't know if he's on the power play or not. So I feel like he's probably on the second one. Mm-hmm. Oh, not going to lie. The only reason why I'm going over there is because of my, in some of my betting groups, a lot of them are going Brock over and I don't, yeah. I mean, there's other options like JT Miller or Quinn Hughes, but I don't know about those ones either. Yeah. But yeah, guys, those are the five picks. Um, if it somehow hits, um, you can thank Braden. But <laughs> if it doesn't hit, then you can blame him. Blame him yeah. all you want. Blame it's me. all his fault because he approved it. Yeah. I don't know shit about hockey. Although I used to win back in the day, back in like, I, I was like nice with it with like goalie saves or whatever. I'd just be like, oh, let's go with the over uh, under on these saves. But yeah. Now, yeah. now you can't apparently do. I don't know. It's really stupid. Fuck underdog. Sorry, underdog, but fuck you guys. That's probably there goes my uh, um, getting a sponsorship, sponsorship. from those guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, so yeah, uh, we could probably go and list all these hockey games, but if I'm going to be 100 percent honest, I do not have any of the things whatsoever in my thing. So we're going to go and finish it off with, of course, you may not be a Seattle Kraken fan, but you are a Seattle Seahawks fan. Of course, we had a great time watching the Seahawks shit kick the Giants last yep. week on Monday Night Football. Now they go and play the rejuvenated Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals this week. What do you think about that game, man? I don't. I don't know too much about Cincinnati. I'm not gonna like. I. I. They've won like two games, right? Two and three. I think they just won a game and that was against the Arizona Cardinals. I, yeah, that was their second, just, just won their second. I forgot who they beat the first one, but yeah, their uh, offense actually looked good for the first time. But then I mean, it's in Arizona, so yeah, it's just their, their first games, they were doing so bad. It's like, and then I know Jamar Chase and whatever said he's like always open, so 
I think I think he'll, he'll obviously he's probably been looking at him still, but I think he'll look at him a little more. I I didn't watch too much of their last game, so I don't know. I I hope Seattle wins, but yeah. By the way, he's uh he's being too nice on that quote, guys. Jamar Chase did not say I'm always open. He said I'm uh, always yeah. fucking open. Yeah. <laughs> this dude doesn't want to swear. He thinks he thinks he's gonna hurt come back and hurt his career. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. I got, I got. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with, you know. I'm not, not just trying to be biased here because you're my friend, but I'm gonna go. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take Seattle against Cincinnati. I know that that's probably the underdog pick here, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Geno Smith gets hurt again. Drew Lock is to shine. I mean, I'm a big Drew Lock supporter, boys. So yeah, I, I want really Drew Lock to go in. I know he makes he did it more in preseason. So yeah, it's like I makes it like more interesting. Just... Yeah. I also need Kenneth Walker to Kenneth. Wa- I got Kenneth Walker is going to be my starting running back for fantasy. I don't know if you guys, if anyone else who runs fantasy, but Kenneth Walker, guys, he is he was a sleeper running back to pick this year. I got him in like the fourth or fifth round. Solid guy. But yeah, man. So that that was pretty much uh, it for football. I mean, there's not uh, at least tomorrow. I know the Denver Broncos play the Chiefs. I'm not excited for that. One. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get roasted. Um, but here's a good thing, guys. I I have both a Patrick Mahomes jersey and then a shit ton of Denver Broncos jersey. So whatever happens the next day, you know, I'm set. I'm happy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, tomorrow, guys, we got uh potentially, and I got my fingers crossed on this one. I'm probably gonna send this to them later, but we potentially have Jake and Chapman and Shane Queer. I believe it's Query. Um, I really, I'm sorry, Shane, if I'm, if, it, if that's not how you pronounce your name, but I, I swear to God, that's how it looks like it's spelled. Shane Query and possibly Tyler Hicks Dutch talking tomorrow. We've got, we'll probably be talking about the Thursday night football game, a little bit of basketball because those guys are basketball heads as well too. Of course, I'm the football expert. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not trying to brag here, uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll be talking with those guys. Probably video tomorrow should be up by like seven or eight because honestly i think i'm going to be finishing it after thursday night football today this video guys you guys will most likely be watching it before four o'clock um what are oh yeah we're, we're pacific time right yeah yeah, yeah. four o'clock pacific guys awesome man so braden bro got to connect it's really, it's, oh yeah <laughs> Awesome. Let's go. Let's go Canucks, bro. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much again, Braden, for being on the show, bro. We really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you for having me. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching episode two of the Astronomical Show. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace.